It is now just mere days until I head to Disney World after two years of delays, two cancelled trips and a four year gap between my last visit. I cannot wait to get back to the magic. So today I thought I would do a pack with me video. This time I'm going to go for three weeks. So I'm packing a lot more than usual. So I thought I would show you what I'm going to take for that period. And also something I've had to plan for, which was rather unexpected. So the first thing to mention is that I'm actually going to be taking two large suitcases cases a small cabin case and a backpack and this was not the plan so originally I was going to take two big suitcases which I always do because I like to bring a lot of things back with me so I always have two cases so I can do that but this time with so many people's bags not arriving I've had to take this small cabin case and essentially I've packed it for like a five day trip in case my large cases don't arrive so it's kind of like having to pack for a, a mini five day break as well as a three week holiday which has been a, a bit of a nightmare honestly <laughs> So I'm going to talk you through that. That was the unexpected thing. I was not planning to have to also take this little suitcase and take clothing and stuff like that with me. So that's very interesting. But I'm going to show you what I've packed for the three weeks. And as we all know, I'm a big fan of packing cubes and to show you how much space I've managed to save by using these and how they've helped me organize my case. So this is the smaller of the two big suitcases that I'm going to take. And this one is going to be mostly for toiletries, accessories, things like that. So in this big box is where I have my Mickey ears. These were a box that I got with a pair of ears that I bought. So I've stuffed, I think I've got about four or five pairs of ears in there. Then I also have some cliff bars. These are going to be my breakfast for the days that I don't have breakfasts at Disney. I then have, I've actually got three pairs of different sunglasses, which um, I definitely don't need that many. And I've also got a pair in my backpack. Nobody needs four pairs of sunglasses. So I'm probably going to narrow this down, but maybe you can help me and tell me which ones you like. So these are the different sunglasses I have. Kind of love them all. I really love kind of like retro looking things. So these are like my two favorites, but then I also love yellow. So these look very fun too. Very hard to pick, very hard to pick. I've got some extra packets of tissues just in case. I've got some reusable cutlery, which is perfect for places like food and wine at Epcot. I've also got this giant one litre bottle of uh, water, which can be amazing because I always drink a lot of water in Florida. It's super hot. So this is going to be awesome. And then I have some wrist braces. These are super important because um, early this year I had tendonitis in both of my wrists and these helped massively because for a little while I couldn't use my arms or my hands or move anything. So they are going to come along just in case I get a flare up. And then it's the first of the packing cubes. I have this little packing cube and in here it's got like a big fluffy frilly underskirt which I'm going to be wearing to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party under a skirt and then a beach cover up and these were kind of bulky items so I've really squashed them down and managed to fit them in a nice little packing cube which is perfect and then I also have in here just some water shoes I'm going to wear these to the water park because it can get very hot on the floor so that will be helpful and this is what the water shoes look like these ones don't have any bits of metal on them so i should be able to wear them on the slides if not you can just hold them as you go down and in the other side of the suitcase is a lot of toiletries this is where everything is getting kept so this is going to be the heavy case so in here i have things like cotton pads to remove makeup i also have some camera equipment so i've got my windshield and this is actually my action cam and everything that goes with that that's the cat she wants to get involved <laughs> um i've also got a little octopus tripod so you can attach this and bend it and swirl it around things so you can kind of attach it anywhere which is gonna be super handy i also have a florida essential a nice little poncho so i got this one from primark and it looks like the um harry potter capes like the cloaks they wear very exciting and then of course i love keeping everything in little cubes and stuff like that just to keep things tidy so this is absolutely perfect so in here i have all toiletries in here i have accessories like belts um and little fiddly things that i didn't really know where to put so they've gone in that bag and in here i've got stuff like makeup 
So in my super cool Rugrats <laughs> toiletry bag, I have bits and bobs like makeup remover. I've got some COVID testing kits just in case um, because you never quite know. And at least in the UK, you know where to get them. So I wouldn't be out in America trying to run around if you feel like you may have COVID. So I'm taking them as a precaution. I've got stuff like plasters, paracetamol, blister plasters, super important. I've got some you know anti-back everything needs to be anti-back these days so love taking these with me and then stuff like gabazon any little medications i may need i'm putting them all in this one bag together so they're all easy to find this is the toiletry bag and for scale this is a hand it is absolutely massive and i cannot believe how rammed it is there are so many toiletries to take <laughs> and i do feel like i've overpacked when it comes to Disneyland paris i've got the packing down to a t I can pack very light. My last year, I only took a backpack. I didn't even take a case with me. But this trip, there is so much stuff. And it's actually been very stressful trying to plan for this. And I think it's, one, I'm out of the habit of flying long haul. Two, the fact that it's my first time doing three weeks in Orlando. And three, having to pack all this emergency stuff just in case your bags go missing or anything like that. So <laughs> it's been a very stressful experience. But we're getting there. We're getting there. So in my unbelievably big toiletry bag, I have things like essentials like sunscreen, deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrush. I've got um, some spray that's from Avon, which is a good insect repellent, but it's not deep or anything like that. It's more natural, which is perfect. More makeup wipes. I've got a lint roller. I have all hair products. I think I've literally taken everything. It's absolutely ridiculous. Makeup, makeup sponges. I think I've definitely packed too many toiletries, but the one good thing about toiletries is a lot of them get used up and I tend to try and use things a bit in the UK and leave an approximate amount I think I will use. <laughs> hopefully I've packed enough and then it just means when I come back I won't be bringing loads of toiletries back I can just leave them up there because they will have been used up which is perfect I, it's one of those things that I know you can get this stuff in the US but when it comes to stuff like sunscreens much more expensive or if there's certain products you like to use you don't want to go out there and not be able to find it so I'm always a bit of a what if packer like just in case I'd better take that with me <laughs> so the toiletry bag is unbelievable and um it's quite it's quite heavy it's hefty but on the way back a lot of this is going to be gone so it'll be nice and light on the way back which will be perfect which means more room for more things to bring home <laughs> But something that I think has helped a lot is having everything in bags because it just looks so much neater. And then it's also really easy to grab everything. So I know this has toiletries in. I know this has medication. I know this has accessories. And it's just easy to be able to sort and organize once you're out there and get what you need. Oh, Coco unfortunately isn't coming, but she does love neat packing by the seams of it. She always does a little inspection. Coco, what do you think? Is it suitable? Suitable packing? Too much? Should we be leaving more space so you can come in the suitcase? Anyone else that has cats out there, are you also micromanaged by your cats? I do like that they like to get involved, but they're like, hmm, no, this is not good enough. And uh, it's very interesting that you bring a little cat into your house, be a little companion, and then suddenly you're now their employee. As I said earlier, I'm also having to take a small cabin case just to pack things for the five first days, just in case my big suitcases don't turn up. And uh, this has been a bit of a nightmare because obviously I'm gonna have lots of cases now. Admittedly, my big cases are the ones that have the four wheels, so they're really easy to pull along. And once I get to the airport, I'll just leave them. So I'm not gonna be taking them around for very long, but it is a bit of a hassle, but I'm gonna show you what I've packed in this cabin case. So this is actually my Toy Story case that I usually take to Disneyland Paris. And I will take this with me if I'm doing like a five day trip. So it's perfect because I've actually packed for five days, just in case my cases don't turn up. So in this side and in this packing cube is five days of clothes. And that includes nightwear, underwear, swimwear, all my outfits. And some days I have multiple outfits. Um, so I'm kind of impressed that I've managed to fit that many clothes into this packing cube. So I have layers upon layers upon layers in here. And I'm just so impressed how much is fitted in this cube. I've got all my little socks over here. Lots of my different outfits. So 
definitely recommend packing cubes because you fit so much in and this is the largest size packing cube i have and it's taken up one half of the suitcase but i think for five days worth of clothes including swimwear changes of outfit i'm pretty impressed so over on this side of the case the first thing i have is this which contains all of my toiletries and medications that i might need in the first five days i've also got my trusty little fan and a cooling towel because i know it's super super warm at the moment so i wanted to take them because i don't think i can survive without them i've also got a document wallet and this is actually for all the documents for later in my trip so i don't need them immediately but i did want to keep them on my person i've then also got this is a sat nav so i have rented a car with florida discount car hire and you can actually get a car sat nav sent to you which is already set up for the us which is perfect so i've got this with me this bag has all of my stuff like um, adapter plugs, cables, uh, this is chargers for my batteries for my camera. So anything that's electrical is going in this little pouch and then that way they don't get lost by falling out of the bag. They just all safe together which is perfect. I've got a little belt as an accessory. I've got my power bank for charging my uh, devices when I'm in the parks. I've got some cleaning wipes because I'm a bit of a germaphobe. So loving it, being able to use them if I need to. And then I've also got this very cute set, which is for swimwear. So when you've been to a water park, you can keep them in there and then it stops everything else getting wet. So the little suitcase is really handy. It's got everything I could need and it's still got some space. I am thinking of taking a cardigan with me because I don't know if anyone else is the same, but I find planes really cold. They're either boiling hot or freezing cold. There's no in between. So I'm thinking about taking a cardigan, although I'm loathe to take a cardigan to Florida because <laughs> it feels ridiculous. But sometimes on the return journey and you land in the UK, it might be a bit miserable although at the moment i'm roasting hot it's so hot in the house and i'm like i can't cope i can't cope and it's about 24 degrees <laughs> it's gonna be at least 10 degrees hotter in florida and i'm like oh gosh i can't cope <laughs> what am i gonna do i'm also going to be taking with me my trusty kath kidston backpack as we all know this is my favorite bag to take to the parks and it's a good size it fits absolutely everything in it's waterproof and it has the slot at the back for the ears which is perfect i recently did a video all about what i take in my day bag to disney and i will link that in the description down below so you can see that and i do take this backpack with me everywhere in fact i used it for disneyland paris recently just from all of my luggage if it fitted literally everything in it was perfect so I'm taking that with me as well. So some of the things I'm going to be taking with me in my Kath Kidston bag is in the very back is where I have my all important document holder. And this has my passport, my boarding passes, hotel reservations, everything I'm going to need when I first get to Florida. So I'm taking that with me. I also then have my all important Disney ears. These are the lounge fly ones. They're the ones that look like balloons. I like that they come in this little bag. And because this section is flat at the back, it's absolutely perfect for keeping ears. And then I've also got some dollars. These were left over from my last trip. So I've got them with me just in case and lots of little change. So who knows if I'm gonna need that, but it's good to have it. Although the change weighs so much, I'm thinking about leaving it behind because no one needs to be adding extra weight to their bags. In the front pouch, I have lots of little things like I've got medication. I've got things like, these are my batteries and um, memory cards for my camera. I have some flight ear things. I don't know if I need them, but I pack for all eventualities. So we've got them just in case. <laughs> I've got motion sickness medication. I have, this is the stuff I actually use in the parks. I find this much more effective. So I take both just in case, but this is definitely the one I'm gonna use for the rides got a little pocket mirror it was free it's very light oh hello hi guys and um just gonna take that just in case i have some anti-back wet wipes because you never know i've got plasters we've got some paracetamol medication things like that i've got some blister plasters always important never want to be dealing with blisters in florida I have some travel bands. Again, I'm doing literally everything to stop the motion sickness. So I don't know if these really work or not, but people seem to think they do. So I'll take some of these, um, some tissues, and then I think that's all just medication left over in there. So yeah, I've got some earplugs um, for the plane. I have a very difficult time sleeping, so I'm gonna take them with me. And uh, as you can see, this pouch fits a lot and all of that stuff 
it's still got loads of room in so it's very impressive this bag so as we all know i do love a pouch so all of those medications plasters things like that will actually go into a pouch so they're not just floating about in the bag and it'll just make it smaller and more compact which is perfect so it's a bit of a mess at the moment but that'll get sorted really have to cool down <laughs> it's really genuinely very very hot <laughs> the fan has already come out i haven't even got to florida i'm still in the uk and the fan has had to come out what are these temperatures it's not even sunny outside it's just really stuffy <laughs> and in the main compartment i don't actually have a lot at the moment so the only things i have in here presently are all of my liquid toiletries and what i've done is anything that's liquid i've kind of already put into a pouch so that when i'm at the airport i just pull it out no faff everything that is non-liquid has gone in the toy story cabin case i am contemplating because that feels like there's quite a lot in here i might leave things like toothpaste and um the deodorant things like that and put them into my main suitcase because if my cases don't arrive i can easily replace them but things like my makeup and stuff i'm going to keep just because if you've got certain brands you like it's good to have them on you and then the only other things i've currently got in here are a purse my very exciting Dr. Facilier purse. And this is one that holds cards. So I've got my styling card, a credit card, and my driving license. And then a magic band. Now I actually got this in 2018, so I don't know if it will still work, but I'll try. So at the moment, the main pouch is pretty empty. Of course, I'm gonna add things like my Kindle, some of my camera equipment, my phone, things like that on the day. So that will get more packed. And also the big thing that's gonna go in there is food for the flight. Now, where I am vegan, I have ordered a vegan meal, but you never quite know if it will get loaded or not. So I'm gonna be taking foods with me that I can eat on the plane if I need to. And again, this is kind of one of those irritating things to have to pack in an ideal world you would get on your plane and you would have your food and it'd be fine but i'm taking this just in case because you won't know until you're on the plane whether you're going to end up with no food or not so these are my just in case items so in the supermarket i've actually picked up a large selection of things and i will narrow this down i'm not going to take everything but i've got things for both my outwards journey and my return journey because in america it typically is less vegan friendly so i don't want to be scrambling around trying to find a supermarket where i can get things to take on the plane because obviously they need to be non-perishable so i am going to put in my main case some of these items for the return flight so some things that are super handy to take on the plane are things like this this is a pot and it's kind of like a katsu curry thing um you just have to add boiling water so of course the staff on the plane can give you that because they would give you tea and coffee and you just leave it for five minutes and then you can eat it another savory thing i'm going to be taking is this vegan pate it's so nice and also it doesn't need to be kept cold so this could be perfect to have in the bag and then i'm also bringing with me some bagels these are probably put into a different packaging just so that they're a bit smaller but they're going to be great for like your main courses for my return flight i have got some porridge and again you just have to add water so that's going to be really easy to get on the plane those are the things i would kind of eat for your main dishes but then i've got lots of snacky things so i've got this vegan jerky again it's perfect because it doesn't need to be kept cold and you can chew on this lots of proteins so that should help fill you up i'm going to be taking some of these trek bars these are what i take to disneyland paris for my breakfasts i think they're really filling and great because there's lots of oats so i'm going to take these with me so i'm going to be taking something with me that may not get eaten depending on the flight i'm gonna take some mixed nuts i do love nuts because they are super filling but if someone of course has an allergy on the plane i just won't eat these and then i have little snacky things like oreos and these come in the kind of individual packets so i can take them out of the box and just slip them into my bag easy i have some saurine the strawberry malt loaf bars again individually wrapped gonna be perfect just have in your bag instead of some crisps i've gone for some pretzel thins and they are just a really small packet so i thought that's perfect to put in the bag and then something else that i really like are these rice cakes and they have dark chocolate on and um again it's just snacky things so i'm not gonna be taking all of this food i am gonna edit it down um and some of it will go into my hold luggage for the return journey but i do think as a vegan it's one of those things you have to pack just in case and then we come to my final case this is the big big suitcase and this is actually a really cute lulu guinness the lips the bright pink it's so nice and the interior is fab look at this love the stripes absolutely amazing so this is mostly going to be clothing in here now over in this side of the case 
get ready for it. I'm gonna show you my favorite thing ever. Packing cubes! <laughs> Just tons and tons of packing cubes. As we all know, I love a packing cube and I've managed to fit basically three weeks worth of clothing into half of a big suitcase. And also, as you can see, there is actually space left. So that is really fantastic news. So what I have done is I've used different packing cubes for different things. So I've kind of divided the outfits up into five day segments. So each packing cube is five days worth of clothing. That way I know which order to unpack them in. I don't have to get everything out of the case if there isn't enough space in the cupboard or there's not enough hangers, something like that. Because I know the order of the outfits. And I've also divided them up into things like my outfits for Universal. They're in one little pouch. I've got stuff for water parks. That's or in a different pouch so i've kind of divided them up that way in the packing cubes and it's just made it so much more organized which is fantastic so in this half of the suitcase i have five packing cubes in this top one i have things for my final four days at disney and also extra things like nightwear chub rub shorts all of those little extras i then have this little pouch which is all swimwear anything to do with swimming all in one little pouch this one is one of the bigger size pouches and this has five or six days worth of clothing in i then have this little pouch and again it has five or six days worth of clothing in i've kind of folded and rolled clothes and you just fit so much into packing cubes i am like the world's biggest packing cube fan i'm always talking about them in my packing videos but honestly they help me save so much space and the fact i've basically got three weeks worth of clothes in half a suitcase is incredible of course some outfits have gone into my toy story bag but again that was a very small packing cube really so i think it's absolutely fantastic three weeks worth of i have counted how many outfits i'm taking because obviously i've got the days but also the special events certain dinners i'm taking 30 outfits 30 outfits is ridiculous but to fit them in all in and have loads of space left the packing cubes have made that possible so cannot talk about them enough they are so good and then this kind of smaller packing cube in the corner is actually five days worth of clothing for universal i can't believe i've managed to get it all in there but this is actually the packing cube that i normally take to disneyland paris oh look i'm being micromanaged again here she's come gotta check it out do you think it's suitable coco hmm yeah but yeah this is what i would normally take to disneyland paris for five days and this includes everything all of my outfits underwear anything i'm gonna need at universal in this tiny it's kind of like the size of an a4 piece of paper honestly it's absolutely incredible i'm very sorry coco but unfortunately you can't come in the case even though i've got a lot of room left i don't think we can put you in and i also don't think it'd be ethical to try and put a cat in a suitcase on the other side of the suitcase i also have sorry coco i'm gonna tuck you in oh gosh oh no so over here i have things like a little bag for the evenings i like this also because it's very flat so it's perfect for putting in my suitcase and then in here is all of my underwear socks tights chub rub shorts everything for the entire trip 21 days absolutely incredible and this is really small this is like an a5 that's right isn't it a3 is bigger than a4 so a5 i would say no a5 is really small basically it's smaller than an a4 piece of paper but the fact that i've managed to fit all of that stuff in is absolutely incredible i've also got a little bag for things like shorts that i might wear to water parks i absolutely hate wearing shorts i don't think they suit me i find them really uncomfortable so i rarely take shorts to disney if i can help it i've got some just for water parks because i think they're super handy and i have got one pair of denim shorts just in case of the day where i'm feeling like i just need to wear shorts i don't know why i would ever feel that way but just in case you know i am the queen of a just in case pack <laughs> so <laughs> i'm taking these things and again because of the packing cubes you can fold them down nice and small and fit them in so it kind of allows you to have these you know kind of panic packing things things that you wouldn't normally take but you're like oh what if i suddenly need to wear denim shorts what if there's a sudden calling and i need to do it well no i can because they will fit in <laughs> and then i also have some bras i don't know if it's just me but i always find padded bras are the most awkward thing to pack because they're just the shape like what are you meant to do with them they just take up a lot of space 
I have some other final items that I haven't quite packed yet, and that is backpacks. So of course I'm taking my Kath Kidston bag, but I normally take another backpack just if I want something a bit smaller. Now I'm contemplating taking one of my lounge fly bags. Absolutely love these. And the great thing is some of the things like the bras or the shorts will be able to fit in here. So that will keep that in shape and also gives me more room in the case. But I am having a real struggle about picking which backpack to take with me. I love the lounge fly because it's small and it's also waterproof which is perfect but do i take that or do i take this backpack i've been dying to use it i love this i got this in primark but i just love the design i think it's so cute and again it's a small backpack it is a bit bigger but i don't know whether to take this and then also use it at universal but i know it's like it's almost like a crime to take anything disney to universal <laughs> so i'm kind of very aware of that so then i also have this backpack which is just plain so i'm like do i take that to universal it's very stressful i prefer the disney bags because they're more waterproof um but i also don't want to kind of uh, cause any offense or get in trouble because i'm taking disney things to universal <laughs> so that is the next thing to decide but the great thing is you can pack things into your backpacks so when they're in your suitcase they're full of stuff and they're taking up less space which is perfect and i'm also going to put a few extra spare packing cubes in just for any items that i buy whilst i'm out there so if i buy any any apparel or ears or anything like that then i can put them into these and it will keep everything neat and tidy and also help me fit much more into my case which is always what you need so that is basically it that is how i've managed to do my three weeks worth of packing there are a few final items that i can't pack until the very last minute like my phone or kindles things like that but i am impressed that i've still got space in my cases i do think that's partly because i'm now taking this cabin case <laughs> But we'll see how that goes but um it's gonna mean i'm gonna have loads of space on my way home which is absolutely perfect and i feel like i could even put that cabin case in a case on the way home if i needed to and then just put everything in packing cubes everything nice and small and neat and it'll be perfect it is just a few days now until i head to disney world i cannot wait i'm gonna be able to experience so many things i've never done before i'm gonna be going to sabi's workshop the keys to the kingdom tour i'm gonna go to halloween horror nights for the first time i'm gonna be returning to mickey's not so scary halloween party i'm gonna be staying in a savannah view at animal kingdom lodge and much much more and it's also going to be my first solo trip to disney world so i can't wait for it so if you do sound interested and in wanting to see what my trip's going to be like and what all these experiences are like do make sure you subscribe because the next video after this will be the first video of my new disney world vlog series which i'm so excited for i cannot wait for you to see it so if you would like to join me then definitely hit that subscribe button and also come over to instagram my instagram is at most.magical.guides and i'll be posting stories and everything to do with my trip so make sure you follow me over there as well thank you so much for watching this video of what i have packed for my three week trip to disney world and universal orlando i cannot wait to go so thank you once again for watching and until next time i hope you have a most magical day Bye bye